Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, ladies, gentlemen, and those who think there's something else. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you are watching Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. Welcome to another episode. So, last time on Ramblin' with Rusty, we did a bit of exploration in New Atlantis, sold some gear, did a few more quests uh, to make some money, and bought us some ammunition for our guns. Today, we're going to talk to Sarah, get our first mi mission for Constellation, and head on back out. But in between... I did a little bit of work with the character and got his skills placed. As you can see from this uh, screen that we're on right now, we're only six points away from level five, which means I'll have to stop at some point and assign another character point. But I do like to stop in and check this screen every once in a while. You can get here by hitting tab B. Let's head into the skills now. We'll go through that real quick. So prior to this, we already had the boost pack training, which I picked up during the middle of the episode last time. We, of course, had surveying and geology. And over in physical, we had weightlifting. So while you guys were gone, I added piloting and security to the repertoire because both of those become super important later on in the game so now without further ado let's go find Sarah so hello there Sarah are you ready to get to work or was there something else oh. I don't know what you put, but I can imagine first of all I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Mm, well, that's true. Okay, so what is constellation? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Oh no, that, that sounds kind of uh, conceited there. Uh, well, what Not you much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. All right, let's get going then. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Hmm. Uh. Well, other people have already. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way, to put pieces like this together. Well, that's not my understanding of Constellation. But if you say so, Madam CEO, eh, legwork never pays You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. 
We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, it's pretty obvious what I get out of it. A ship. Place to live. And all the fuel I can use. So, got it. You and we'll me. need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? What do you mean? You don't care if I steal long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Alrighty then. Sarah. Ugh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Boy, that sounds like a uh, pitch right out of Starship Troopers. Yeah. No thanks, I'd rather start char... Whoa, start ch where have I heard that stars. line before? No, I say the same thing every time John tries to get me to re-enlist. <laughs> I surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Hmm. So. Yeah, I'm sure we can make a good offer. Soul for system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. <laughs> Gotta help with that. Um... Was he a bar in his spaceport? No, that does not sound like home to me. Hmm. Anything for Sarah. You see, always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. Ah. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see, is a good friend to have. Yeah. The ultimate big brother looking over your shoulders. Let's uh, head off to the space. So, we're going to go ahead and grab a seat. And I have plugged in my trusty controller. Let's make sure it works. Yep. And off we go. here we are on Mars so in the cut I did assign that new skill point to persuasion give us a little bit better chance to uh, complete our missions and our readies ladies and gentlemen welcome to Sidonia so the last outpost of mankind in Sol system. Yeah, 
Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? People always ask me what I think about mining. <laughs> it rocks. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, come on. Layla's been going on about the heart of the world. get a lot of new faces again. passing through here. When's she going to give it a rest? Uh, oh, okay. So apparently we need to go talk to somebody named Layla at some point. Let's see. I'm looking for a vanguard named Moar. He ain't been around. One off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. <laughs> We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Yeah, yeah, you and your sob story. Ah, oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four, it was all... Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I'll let it slide for a yeah, long time because yeah, he's a regular, yeah. but... If I'm out all that money, Gone, man. I've got problems. What do you say? No, oh, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Eh, uh, you know, I don't mind a thousand credits. That's not too bad. I should go ahead and try and persuade him, though. But You're a little short on funds there. Come back when you've got the credits. Apparently, I don't have a thousand credits. Maybe it's not too late to get the ride back home. So I guess we'll have to try and persuade. Damn it. You got those credits? You pay his tab. I'll tell you what I know. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You're gonna guilt trip me. Don't try to guilt trip me, okay? <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. Yeah. I'll get your point. And maybe he's not gonna get found. I'm out the cash either way. That's enough. Yeah. You either pay up or get out. I'm done talking about this. I got a board here in the bar where people post all kinds of spacefaring jobs. Good way to make quick money. All right. Mm hmm. Hey. I could never uh, leave. Yes, we'll do this the hard way. Okay, let's talk to this greedy ass. <sighs> what a long day. Excuse me. Keep it simple or keep to yourself. And everyone will be here. You got those credits? You pay his tab. I'll tell you what I know. Yeah, yeah, here's Agreed your... Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus. I paid a thousand Venus? credits for him to tell That's us... That's only one planet. Was going Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Uh, I'm with Sarah. That that was kind of a ripoff. Yes. What? A thousand credits, and he gives us one. Venus. Here we go.
Let's see, looks like they cut off part of Sarah's uh, dialogue there. Let's see, where she tells me about all these House of Varun ships. No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. Uh, no, I, but I, I think I see something reason. else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. So we need to be get close without being attacked. Uh, the Zealots are a threat to the whole system. Well, this is true, but I don't think I got the firepower to take them out. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay, so this is where we get to learn how to fly stealthily. And... Just a bit over 150 meters to go. We are almost to the satellite, and so far, no attacks by House Varun. I will say it has taken us so long to get here, though, that the game actually thought that we'd walked away from the computer and went into the whole uh, film noir. The spin around the ship deal. This is Vanguard Moira. To all you see affiliated ships, I'm heading to the Nova Galactic Storyard orbiting Earth's moon. Yeah, yeah, I know. The whole place is decommissioned. But I need parts for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Well, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. Where the first yes. interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Well, you know, that sounds like Nova Galactic's out of business, but this entire ship is Nova Galactic built, so eh. They must still be they must be really, really good high quality components. Let's see. Let's see if Keep your weapons ready. Never know there. who else might be scavenging there. Most star stations and ships can be docked with allowing you to board them. You need to select the ship in your HUD and then fly close enough to it so that the dock prompt appears. Okay. Can I get on with uh, repowering my systems now? Nova Galactic. Time to move on. Are. Ah, time to switch control schemes. Did, I did crouch down. Okay, so F to bring up the scanner. 
boy. Space is an awful dirty place in this game. Two steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Let's uh, switch to the sniping rifle. Mercenary. What are they doing here? Scavenging a star yard is a bit low end for them. And there's their normal bullshit with getting in front of people. And as you just saw, I just shot Sarah in the back because she ran right in front of my line of fire. Not gonna last much longer. Oh. Two people over here, unless he's secret outpost. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Come on! Ah! Oh, Bad luck for you! Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm hit! Fire! Fire! Ooh, damn it! Bethesda, you guys really need to work on your collision stuff because that just should not ever happen. It's just not possible. Oh no! You know, I'm part of a group of people that always give my favorite, uh, Starfield streamer, some heckling about being out of bullets. And there, I just did it myself. Another blown up backpack. I don't stock up on junk. You know, Sarah, you're gonna be carrying this junk in a minute. Right. 
Going to need it anymore. Jeez, these guys just. Show me what you've got. These guys are all tough. Obviously, he's over on the other side over there. stuff into the uh, cargo hold here alrighty so let's see find out where we're heading next we will listen to Moara Slate this is Vanguard Moira sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. You know, Moara, 
Either it belongs to the UC and you're reclaiming it, or it belongs to the spacers and you're stealing it. The fact of the matter is that not everything belongs to your government. Just because it's in UC space does not make it UC prime. Of course, before we head there, set to the lowest graphics, but damn! Welcome to Luna, ladies and gentlemen. Well, gravity is 1 16th Earth standard. But we'll go check it out, just to be sure. Something tells me even if I can get in, which it looks like I could if I wanted. Let's see, those are just bumpers. Oh, that's a pretty advanced shield there. Those are Class A engines, though. Yeah. That's a Class A jump drive. Class A cargo. Small cargo, I should say. Looks like shielded cargo. Those are some big uh, cargo containers there. Class A landers. Questionable is this uh, shield right there? That looks like a class A generator. I think this is a class A ship. Why is Sarah on board on the ship? Jeez. Could have swore I told her to wait outside. Well, I don't want to go traipsing off to Mars in this ship. I don't know what weapons it has yet. So. We're going to leave it here, and in the meantime, I am going to uh, take this bad boy back to Mars. <laughs>